Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain. We're going to discuss something important today. This is an emergency broadcast. We're going to discuss the idea of false positives. Is Daniel Andrews using false positives? Uh, and we're going to talk about that and other issues tonight on the report from Tiger Mountain. Hang around. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Um, you know, I mean, we've been in lockdown here for over four weeks uh, in Melbourne. Uh, I wanted to examine the topic of uh, the potentiality for false positives. He did. I listened to his speech. Though. I don't often listen to it because it's just the same cycle where he comes out and he lists the whole how many people are tested and how many you know people are positive and all this bullshit. One thing Daniel Andrews is doing is he's testing a, a large amount of people every day. Okay, he's testing um, at least twenty thousand people every day, and let's say that every you know. Um, say, um, I don't know, uh, if 10,000 people, there are 50 false positives. I don't know, but th there are false positives that come back with these tests. And if you test enough, you will have enough false positives. So you times that by two, you know, 20,000, and now you have 100 false positives every day. It could be 200, I don't know. It depends probably on the test and it depends on other things, but that is how you can falsify these figures. And I believe that's what Daniel Andrews is doing. I believe that he is falsifying these figures and manufacturing this disaster, which is sending the Australian economy into the um, worst, um, well, it's, 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 it's worse than a recession. It's a complete um, depression since World War II. I do believe we can probably come out of it okay, but we need to end these lockdowns. And uh, okay, the other thing that we need to be suspicious about is the, the deaths in nursing homes. Uh, I've heard rumors, and we need to uh, um, basically confirm this, that he is bribing people to put on their uh, death certificate if their grandparent dies in a nursing home, that it was COVID. Now, sometimes there might actually be COVID uh, in these nursing homes, and some of these people might have it, and some of these people might have even actually died from it. But I think anyone who dies in a nursing home is being offered a financial incentive to put on their... Um, and who wouldn't turn that down? Who wouldn't turn down $20,000 from the government? We do need to confirm this, though, so we need to look into that. Um, and the other thing is... Um, it was very suspicious to me was there was some it's kind of a windy day today but there was like a a kind of leak of sewage into the water supply um if if something if the if there is a spike happening again in melbourne could it have been had something to do with like uh, sewage being leaked into the water supply this happened in uh, over last weekend for about two or three days um the water supply of melbourne was apparently contaminated uh it was apparently contaminated with um basically sewage and it said that in sewage, if there is COVID, uh, it's in there. So technically that would have been in the drinking water of people. So if we're about to see another spike, that is again something that could have caused it. Um, obviously these are all speculative ideas and I'm not 100% sure of any of them. So the very fact that none of this is being asked by a media is very suspicious. And that's what I wanted to raise today on this uh, broadcast emergency uh, report from Tiger Mountain. We need to ask these difficult questions and we need to get these difficult answers. We need an independent scientific inquiry. We need independent analysis of these tests. Are they bringing back false positives? You know, are people being bribed in nursing homes to uh, put down COVID when maybe that was not the cause of death? And, you know, is there something dodgy going on with this leak of sewage into Melbourne's water supply? These are the three issues I wanted to raise and that's what I wanted to talk about today on the report from Tiger Mountain. Thank you.